Hey guys, it's Tristan and I'm back and today we're, we will be painting up uh, the metallics on the turret. We will work on the machine gun over here and maybe adding some metallic parts here and there just to give some details so it could look better. And on the main hull or the main tank we will be painting up the cable that runs across this side here and also the shovel and the other like the axe over here and the iron bar or whatever that's called also I think I will give uh, this uh, grill over here some uh, metallics or some washes either way I, wanna, I want it to pop out and I think that would be it maybe some um, bolts and rivets uh, here or uh, maybe not because it really doesn't need that much metallic on the tracks and on this side and on the road wheels where we will blast off with some um, with some where the where, where are you where are you mr. Payne we will start off with is it in focus uh, gun metal metal gun metal metal it's just the normal gunmetal metal. And we'll start painting the... Ah, let's start with the turret. Let's start with the turret. So, the main thing is the barrel of the machine gun. That needs some metallics. Oh yeah. And I want to say, uh, again, thank you for Captain Napalm. Because uh, you sent me those pictures I asked for you. Uh, asked and those will help out really really much so I wanna thank you but let's continue painting this uh, awesome awesome Sherman tanky wanky that maybe didn't sound the best way but doesn't matter doesn't matter cuz we're going to paint the Sherman tank Now I'm gonna paint up um, a few bits that I forgot to paint. Those road wheels on the front here, I will do it off camera. Hey guys, I'm back and I painted the wheels and the stuff here. So, but before we can go on to the wash part, uh, I will have to refill the wash because it's pretty empty already and I want it to be filled. And that's a good way to show you how I get my wash. I have this uh, Vallejo black wash, you have to shake it, but as you can see it gets everywhere. Okay, so I take my syringe and I pull some out and I put it in here. So one third of the bottle is black wash and then just cleaning the tip of the syringe I put it into water container like the one I, I wash my brush with now I take the water and just whoosh, let it in one syringe full of water isn't enough so yeah, now it's pretty full close the wash bottle and give it the shake okay And now we have to let it dry and we'll see what we get out of it later. 
Hey guys, I'm back and I hope you can see that the wash has dried out off really well. And the tip of the turret looks pretty what good. It looks pretty good. The cables and all the other stuff on the main tank have also dried. The wash has dried. The back here not so much. The grills here looks nice and dark and next part we're gonna do is uh, paint some markings onto the tank and for that I want to thank Captain Napalm so much because he sent me those uh, pictures that I can use from the Osprey so for that we'll be using it's gore red you can't see it here but it's gore red first should be on the front here right so it, we just have to paint a nice square You might be asking why am I not using uh, transfers? To be honest, I don't like transfers. Next up, we'll be using bloody red. Hey guys, we're back. As you can see, I managed to get the transfer down here. It looks okay, I guess. It looks okay. And the one on the, on the back here. Now, we'll move on to some... Uh, now we have to add the numbers. 501 up here and down here. And also we have to write the name of the tank on here and serial number on here I don't know there has to be some number over here so I'm just gonna do something really really small that you can't read it but it looks like it's a number for this I will be using astronomic and gray it's not white but it's exactly what I need That's 51, and that's 51, and blast off. We move on to the first side. Funny thing is that usually, like, when I know I'm about to paint, and I know I'm about to paint something detailed, or be painting some markings or numbers or other letters of writing on a model, I usually don't drink coffee that day because coffee sometimes makes my hand shake. Usually tanks were named after the name of their squadron. Like if it was like B squadron, your tank name was with started with a B, so like banana for example. I bet there were no bananas there but like Bethy, Berta. And if you had like A squadron you had names with like words that started with A. This tank is N squadron, like N as November. Wow, is that Napalm? Captain Napalm! And the name of the tank is Napalm. How, how, how convenient. And, oh yeah, Udisve, I posted your stuff. I, unfortunately, I was able, unable to do it earlier 
so I did it today I hope uh, you're not disappointed but it should arrive to your to you like next week I wanna say thank you thank you thank you thank you to Captain Napalm he is so friendly he's so helpful and I just can't thank you enough for the pictures you sent me anyways Thanks for watching, keep it safe and I'll talk to you next time.